what's up everyone matt here i'm here in santa cruz with alexa and we are at mystery spot we decided to come to santa cruz for the day because we didn't realize how close it was it's like 50 minute drive from palo alto she's been here before like six years ago i've been here before like six years ago and don't really remember much so we decided to come hang out for the day our tour is at 124 so we got about 20 minutes to go We just finished up with the mystery spot. What'd you think? I don't know. I was really dizzy. It's definitely dizzying just because of all the weird angles and stuff. So for eight bucks, I say, yeah, worth checking out if you're in the Santa Cruz area. This road is horrible though. It's bumpy. <laughs> really bad. Um, but yeah, it's an interesting illusion where you really, everything looks not as it should be. Worth checking out, I think. Now we're gonna head to the boardwalk probably, down to the beach. So we made it to the boardwalk, the beach is over there, and now we're gonna probably head to the arcade and see what we can do there. We haven't been here in a while. So we worked our way up to 150 tickets. We found this great price here at Santa Cruz. We found some San Francisco nail clippers. Okay, now we're talking though. 150 for getting. a Star Wars puzzle. Now that, that seems worth it actually. Oh, by the way, it's super hot in here. I'm just like sweating like crazy. <laughs> it's so hot. We decided to come back to get more tickets. Got the 250 tickets, so now we're up to like 300, so we can get a, some chapstick now. <laughs> okay. Now we're back in the Star Wars arena. We have 450 tickets to spend. Just trying to decide what to get. I thought picking junk that we don't actually need would be so hard. <laughs> so we finally made it out. We got all of our points taken care of. We got... Mug. Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk mug. A uh, crappy little bracelet. A little hippie <laughs> Two little bracelet. candies. But yeah. we used all of our points, which is good. And the mug is actually decent. That's actually something we kind of like wanted. I bracelet. <laughs> we just got home. Check this out. We're about to cut this up. This is called a durian. It's a fruit, believe it or not. This is one of those famous fruits that some people hate and some people love. I love I'm about in the middle. She absolutely loves it though. But we're gonna open it up right now. This is seriously a weapon. It's dangerous. Ow! <laughs> it's super sharp. I told you don't hurt yourself. Ugh. You would not, this, most people probably wouldn't want to eat this if they saw the inside. Dang, that's good. Okay, and we are cut in half. So that is what the inside of a durian fruit looks like. Looks appetizing, right? <laughs> there's a lot, there's probably fruit in like the middle too. Yeah, it's like in little cocoons, like this one. You can see the fruit right here on the edge. That yellow thing is the fruit. I'll wash my hands. Wash your hands. To me, it has the texture of mango with the flavor of durian. It only tastes like durian. I've never tasted anything like it before. So those are the fruit little chunks. Mm. It's still kind of frozen. Mm -hmm. 
good though. These came all the way from Malaysia. Thailand, probably. Oh, Malaysia. I don't know. Look at that. That's a big chunk. Dude, that's good. It really doesn't smell bad to me, but I've heard people who like throw up at the smell of this. And they can't even try it. Like, it's I that bad. I love it. Uh, this one doesn't smell as good as the other one. Ow, but it really hurts. Let me know down in the comments if you've ever heard of this, ever tried it. Would you try it? Oh, jeez. There we go. There's another big chunk. Love it. This one's pretty small. How much was this one? I think it was 10 bucks. 10 bucks? For a piece of fruit, that's expensive. But for a piece of fruit this big, that's not too bad. Seriously, the last, the one we got last time was probably twice the size of this one. Yeah. It was so heavy. I think it cost like 30 bucks. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> last time we bought one of these was when Alexa lived in Long Beach and her apartment had the worst knives imaginable. Yeah. I mean, you could like slice them on your arm and you'd be fine. They're not sharp at all. So cutting one of these was hard, but having sharp knives helps. So this is what the fruit looks like. It kind of looks like uh, some type of organ. But really, the, the, the texture is straight up mango. That's no, what it reminds me of. Yes, it is. It is. It's I'm sorry. It's really not. It's You're creamy. It has creamy. It's like a creamy mango. Okay, give Perfect. me like the smallest piece possible. Here, I'll just give you the meat. But just a little bit, not to way too much. Okay, this is good. Oh. Mm -mm. Wait, hold on, hold on, let me get this. <laughs> what are your thoughts? <laughs> no. You hate it? It's really bad. The last time I tried this, it did not taste that. It tastes, it tastes like it's not ripe. I had to hold it together there for a second. It's not good. Recommend trying it, but it's not good. <laughs> just look at her, she'll just down it all like it's nothing, like it's candy. Actually, speaking of candy, they do make durian candy. The durian candy is worse than the durian itself. But the smell is so strong, you gotta throw this away immediately. Otherwise it's gonna smell the entire house. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to subscribe so you can see when new videos are out every Tuesday and Friday. Also, be sure to follow me over on social media. Links for that will be down below. I want to thank you all so much for watching. Again, my name is Matt, and I will see you next time.